These are the arms and legs of someone who is outside for 70 years without sunscreen. And although he left the house every day without wearing sunscreen, he did put on pants. Can you see the amazing difference that just covering yourself from the sun makes? There are many ways to cover ourselves and protect ourselves from the sun, but if we can do that more efficiently, we can not only prevent skin cancer, but also fine lines and wrinkles, melasma and hyperpigmentation, and even preventing acne marks, such as this little pimple on my face, from turning into scars. When I was young and struggling with my acne, I had no idea that being in the sun could actually make my acne scar more and actually cause them to change color in my skin, such as hyper or hypopigmentation. And when you look at my neck, you can see a ton of hypopigmentation. Well, since then, and becoming a medical esthetician, trying to help other people with their skin, I've learned to turn and learn my ingredients, meaning understanding which products are actually going to work for which skin types and which have medically proven ingredients to do so. Now, there is a little hint that I didn't know about until, what, maybe two years ago? And it is how sunscreen can actually be boosted by the use of a very specific vitamin, a wonderful antioxidant. And there's a very interesting way in which this works and how it helps the skin. And also there are three products that I have right here that have sunscreen as well as this special vitamin that literally work together as like a power couple to boost each other up. We're going to talk some Super Goopy, we're going to talk some Iris and Romeo, and even some Ula Henriksen who's partnering with us on a portion of this video to help bring you science and education behind your skincare and how to get the most out of it. So let's start with identifying this wonderful vitamin, which you've probably guessed from the title or the thumbnail, but it is our wonderful vitamin C. Well, what is vitamin C? It's an antioxidant. It's anti-inflammatory, and it essentially helps your skin fight off free radicals. Now, there are many different forms of vitamin C that you'll probably find in your skincare products. Some are expensive, like tetrahexadecal ascorbate, and others are less expensive, like ascorbic acid. The problem is vitamin C can be finicky, and if you leave it in the sun or exposed to heat or oxygen, it degrades really quickly. Now, there are bottles, such as those that are protected from light and sun, that protect the vitamin C. And if you really want the benefits of this vitamin, you can literally apply it every single morning beneath your sunscreen. But there are some products that actually do the work for us, combining the sunscreen and vitamin C into one. Let's speak about why this works and kind of how it does. And then three of my favorite options to get this in a one-step spray or swipe, so you can literally apply this every single morning and not have to have a 15-step morning routine. Or a, what is it, 27-step or was it 50 steps? Remember Shay Mitchell's routine? Love her, but we reacted to that and boy, she used like 57 seven steps in the morning, including boob masks. As long as someone's protecting their skin, I am a happy camper, but um, I'm sorry, my boob masks, well, I don't even have boob masks, but if I did, I don't know, I wouldn't spend money on that unless they were like guaranteed to work and had amazing ingredients like vitamin C and sunscreen. So vitamin C is fantastic because it is an antioxidant. Even the word antioxidant means anti or not, oxidant, oxidation. Remember that when the UV light comes at us from the sun, it damages our skin. Literally, it damages the DNA inside of our skin and it ruins the collagen and elastin that's deep within our faces and the rest of our bodies. As we can see with this person who was outside for 70 years, that's exactly what happened. Do you see how he has more pigmentation? The skin is a little bit more leathery and wrinkled in the areas that it was exposed to the sun. Now, of course, you can wear shirts and pants and things to protect from the sun, but sunscreen is something you can think of as like the hat version of skincare. Yes, a good hat protects you while you're hiking or a good swimsuit can protect your body while you're swimming. A good sunscreen is the cream equivalent of protecting your skin. But now, Vitamin C works on those UV rays as well. Vitamin C is not a replacement for sunscreen, but it literally helps to combat the oxidative stress that the sun provides. So sunscreens literally reflect the sun or try to absorb the sun's energy before it can get to your skin. But inevitably, part of that sun's energy, that damaging energy, does get into the skin. And that's where vitamin C steps in and it says, hey, take me instead. The vitamin C basically gives itself up so that your skin doesn't have to get damaged. On top of that, vitamin C is anti-inflammatory. If you've ever gotten a sunburn, you know how painful it is, you know it turns red, sometimes it even makes the skin swell. Well, vitamin C being anti-inflammatory helps to bring down that inflammation. So whether you have a little pimple or whether you've been in the sun a little bit too long and you're starting to get pink, vitamin C can help lessen that damage overall. And of course, vitamin C is great for hyperpigmentation. If you've ever had melasma or dark spots or uneven pigment in your skin, you may have reached for a vitamin C serum and found that it worked really well. Even if you have under eye color, not just the bags or the wrinkles, but actual under eye color, 
like purple. If you've looked for vitamin C in your products, you've probably noticed that that really gives you a good bang for your buck. And it's because vitamin C literally stops your skin from being able to make the pigment that sticks around, which is fantastic if we want to glow and look fresh and make sure that our skin tone looks even. Now, what's the best way to use a vitamin C along with your sunscreen? Well, number one, you have to find a vitamin C and sunscreen that you like. And number two, you have to make sure that they play well together. You see, ideally vitamin C should go on your skin before sunscreen, meaning you should have it in a toner, in a serum, or in a moisturizer. And in my opinion, if you're going to layer your products, the best option for you is getting a vitamin C serum. It's going to be the most potent, the most bang for your buck, probably more stable, and you can put it right under your sunscreen. But then you have to find a sunscreen that doesn't pill up. And if you are going to reapply your sunscreen throughout the day, let's say that you're at the beach or on a hike, enjoying time in the sun, or you're just reapplying your sunscreen because you're in that great habit and you are really good at your reapplication, you should be applying your vitamin C under your sunscreen if you want the full benefit. And adding that many layers to your face, even reapplying your sunscreen multiple times a day can be overwhelming. And that's where there are some brands that really stood there and said, hmm, this is a problem. It's difficult for people to do. Sometimes it's difficult to even use multiple steps in the morning because you're busy, you're rushed, it's time to go. Let's create one that combines them. And there are three brands that do this phenomenally, including some that are safe for sensitive skin and one that is even approved for your entire body, especially if you are an athlete who is swimming or sweating or doing both of those things. The first one right here took 40 years to make. This is from Ula Henriksen. And this is called the Banana Bright Mineral Sunscreen. And when I first looked at this, I gave this a first impression and I was like, if it's the Banana Bright, why is it orange? <laughs> now, Ula Henriksen does have a really good vitamin C serum. It's a little bit expensive and it is fragranced. It literally smells like an orange creamsicle. It smells like summer. Nikki Tutorials spoke about it years ago and how good it was for her acne. And that's when I originally found out about it at Sephora. Now, the Truth Serum is amazing, but this is literally called the Truth Sunscreen. It's from the Truth line. And let me say, this has the same nostalgic smell, but honestly, I would rather spend my money on this than the Truth Serum any day. And speaking of money, this is $35 you get 50 milliliters or 1.7 fluid ounces. Absolutely, get this on sale, scoop this up. This is fantastic, and this is literally a mineral sunscreen that has vitamin C in it. Now, as a banana bright sunscreen, when I first put this on, I noticed that my skin really did seem to glow. Ulla Henriksen is a facialist from Denmark. He lived in West Hollywood, and he had celebrity clients who always wanted his signature facial because of the glow that it gave them. So he actually started making and mixing vitamin C literally in his house, and then he started delivering it on a bike to his celebrity clients. And in the past 40 years, he's been making that vitamin C and now bringing it to other people. And for the past 40 years, Ulla Henriksen has not had a sunscreen, but he's been known for this glowy, gorgeous skin that his products and his treatments provide. Well, they have now finally, after years of testing, brought a sunscreen that literally brings this glowy, gorgeous look to the skin while having the antioxidant benefits of vitamin C and the protection of SPF 30. And this does have ingredients like banana and orange. That's why I'm shocked that it didn't make my skin irritated because sometimes I'm a little bit sensitive to citrus. I've never been sensitive to their Truth Serum, so I'm really glad that I'm not sensitive to this either, but just be aware of that if citrus does not always go well with your skin. But this is phenomenal because it's a completely mineral formula. It has zinc oxide, so it's inorganic slash mineral, and if you do have more sensitivities specifically to other more common sunscreen ingredients, this could be a fantastic option. Now this also has ingredients like jojoba esters and niacinamide. Niacinamide is that B vitamin that actually plays really well with vitamin C. The niacinamide helps to regulate oil control and oil production. I'm actually kind of shocked. They don't say that on the bottle. They just say that it has an enhanced vitamin C and zinc oxide. But I think the niacinamide in here is absolutely something that like it literally takes steps out of your routine. This is a niacinamide serum, a vitamin C serum, and a sunscreen all in one. And it's also kind of like a primer and basically a base for your makeup. Or you could use this kind of as an illuminating makeup. If you can see, this has a little bit of iridescence to it. And while it's not makeup or mica or anything like that, this does have iron and titanium oxides that help to illuminate the skin while you're wearing it. And can you see, like if you cut my face down the middle, can you see where I applied it? How it's a little bit more bright, a little bit more even and luminous than where I didn't? That's literally just the sunscreen working with the ingredients that are already protecting the skin to brighten the skin up. And I love this so 
much. When I first tried this, I was actually quite surprised at how this was working on the skin, and I love the way this looks. The other thing about this is that you can reapply it multiple times throughout the day without it peeling up and getting gummy. Because it has the jojoba oil in here, as well as the glycerin, these are hydrating ingredients, I feel like whenever I reapply it, it just melts into the other layer instead of gumming up on top. This is brand new. I absolutely love this, and for me, it's absolutely worth the $35, but I understand that that's still expensive. And if you can get this on sale, please do. I absolutely love this. Again, they call it the Banana Bright. It's orange. Don't exactly know what that's about, but I will say they have a Banana Bright primer. This is like a lightweight, literally sun protective skincare version of that primer. If you liked that primer, you will love this. Um, I absolutely am head over heels for this. I cannot wait to wear this throughout summer. It feels like summer. It looks like summer. Even it smells like summer if you're okay with fragrance. I am going to be trying out some new mineral sunscreens this season, but this is definitely at the top of my list. Now, the other one that I have also has vitamin C in it, but this one has a different tint. This one is from Iris and Romeo, and while this is what I'm probably going to wear this summer, this is what I wore last summer. Now, this is expensive. Again, this one's $35, this one's $50. I understand that that's expensive. I haven't really seen this one go on sale, but just the way there are different types of vitamin C, and some of them can be more expensive, some of these products are going to be more or less expensive than other sunscreens, and I have to say, even though this one's expensive, I love this. This is an SPF 50 from Iris and Romeo, and it does have vitamin C in it. It's called the Weekend glow and boy does it make you glow. Now this is a slightly thicker formula and as you can see it kind of comes out in this tinted color. So this is a tinted sunscreen and if you are someone who used to use like a foundation that had sunscreen in it and then you found out that foundations with sunscreen literally do not cover your skin as well as they need to, this is going to be your best friend because do you see how well this covers? At least for my skin, look at how it covers that blemish. Like I know this isn't foundation, but if you want sun protective skincare that is close to foundation as possible, this is it. And Iris and Romeo, it's such a beautiful story. The woman who created this entire line, she used to work for a really prestigious makeup company down in Los Angeles. And she was having a real hard time with life. She's like, what is the meaning? What am I doing with my life? How do I feel fulfilled? She actually moved to Northern California and she started taking care of horses. And one of them was named Romeo. Her mom's name was Iris. And while she was spending time with these horses kind of off the the grid away from life and away from other people, she realized that she wanted the world to look and feel beautiful. She was inspired by nature and her time in it and wanted to keep her skin protected while she was enjoying everything that life had to offer. So Iris and Romeo actually launched with this sunscreen. They also now have new products like a hyaluronic serum and a few other things, but this weekend skin is so great. And even though it's called weekend skin, like, I'm sorry, you should use this every single day. As you can see, it is definitely tinted. This is the glow component that they have in here. And then the SPF 50 is a mineral formula. So again, it's mineral or inorganic, which is going to be better for people who do have more sensitive skin. Now this formula does have mica, which gives it a little bit of shimmer. That's what kind of gives it the glow. And this also has apple extract in it. Also, this one is fragrance free. So if you are sensitive, this could be an awesome option. But do you see how this side of my face is like glowing and bronzed, whereas this side of my face is like bright and illuminated? That's how I would describe the difference between these, is that this one really does brighten up the skin and this one gives it a glow. And depending on your budget, if you have $50 or if you have $30, 35, one of these might be better for you. And that is if you are looking for a mineral sunscreen. Now, if you are looking for a chemical or organic filter, this one from Supergoop is not messing around. This is the Supergoop Play. And although it's called Play and it is lots of fun, this one is here for business. This stuff is a spray sunscreen and boy, is this amazing for anybody who is sweating, swimming, having fun in the sun. This is water resistant and sweat resistant. Remember, there's no such thing as a waterproof sunscreen screen because they all come off in the water eventually. But this is an SPF 30 body mist that really does the job and it has an inexpensive form of vitamin C along with the sunscreen in here. Now, unlike these that have the physical sunscreens in them, this one does have a chemical slash organic sunscreen, specifically avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, and octocrylene. Now, while these are great and really protective towards the sun, they can be a little bit greasy. And um, let me just say, <laughs> This product is a grease ball. You see, on top of the sunscreen ingredients, they do have lemon peel, lime peel, they do have sunflower, lavender, etc. And even though I love this formula, I told you I'm a little sensitive to citrus. I can handle this one. This one is rough for me. And if you are sensitive to the sun or sensitive to citrus, this might not be right for you. Also, I'm really, really oily. If you have oily skin, this might not be right for you. This is a very, very oily formula. And while it is great and I do recommend it, 
just be careful if you're putting this on your face because it is oily. Now, I feel like this doesn't really soak into my skin. I want people to be aware of that. But if you are looking for a body SPF plus vitamin C that is affordable, this one is $21. Again, vegan and cruelty free as are all of these. But for 21 bucks, this does the job. You just need to make sure that you are reapplying. And again, I wouldn't personally put this on my face. You could try it if you want to, but I wouldn't recommend it. Just understand that this is a more oily, more greasy formula, and it's worth it in my opinion, but this is what you sign it up for. The Super Goop is actually uh, super goopy. Now with this, I wish that I could actually ask Super Goop a question because you should not apply lime before you go in the sun. If you've ever seen people who have their hands burnt like on exotic beaches, a lot of people make like lime alcoholic drinks and they go enjoy the sun. That lime can actually cause a photosensitivity, a photo reaction. Basically those damaging UVA and UVB rays from the sun land on the lime and they literally cause burns to the skin. This is why you don't apply citrus before going in the sun. Now we know this and we always say not to put lime or lemon on before you go in the sun. So I do wonder why Super Goop decided to include those ingredients in here. I wish I could ask them, but I will say when I have used this on my body so far this year, I have not had any negative reactions or burning other than my body's a little bit sensitive to citrus. So I'm not putting this on my face. Just keep that in mind with this one, but you're actually getting six fluid ounces of spray for 21 bucks. So depending on your budget, depending on your skincare sensitivities, and depending on if you want a glow oil-like look for the body versus a bronzed glow or a luminous glow for the face, you now have options that literally help to simplify your routine. Think about it, like you wake up in the morning, you tie back your hair, you wash your face, you put on certain serums, maybe a niacinamide serum, vitamin C serum, etc. Sometimes you might put on a moisturizer, then your sunscreen, then your makeup and you're ready to go. What if you could cut out two if not three of those steps? You literally wake up in the morning, you cleanse your skin, you can literally put this on over a toner or just on its own. This is your vitamin C and and your niacinamide and your primer, or this is your vitamin C and your tinted makeup, has a little tiny bit of niacinamide in it as well, although it's not as much as this, and you can literally go. And then you can reapply this throughout the day to stay protected and hydrated. And not only is your sunscreen protecting your skin from the damaging UVA and UVB rays, but the ingredients in these products are literally working to support your skin, to help with hyperpigmentation, to help be anti-inflammatory, to help prevent little acne marks. And your sunscreen, which is acting is like a makeup primer or even a tinted, you know, BB bomb is working with your skin and working for you. I have listed my three favorites below, but if there are others that I haven't tried, please let me know so I can try them. And again, a huge thanks to Ula Henriksen for actually caring about our skin, for working with us on a portion of this video to help educate and inspire and really help people find the products that are right for them and right for their budget. I absolutely love all of these formulas for different reasons, and I will list them below. Again, if there are others that you can think of that have vitamin C in them, them. Tell me so I can try them. These are the only three I recommend. There are like two more that I know of, but they are absolute trash and I do not recommend them. But now that I've had a taste of this, I'm like, I'm greedy. I'm like, I want more. Give me more. This is amazing. Can I have all of my sunscreen formulas have vitamin C in them? Please and thank you. Overall, do remember to stay hydrated, both orally and topically. Reapply that SPF, which we just spoke about. And always remember to be beautiful both inside and out. I love you and I cannot wait to see you in this next video. Love you guys. Bye.